Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, we're at home right now, but this is an unboxing video of some of these cubes. And if you want to see that, stay tuned. But just before we start the video, I want to shout out The Talented Kid and Lil Shy, both super fantastic channels. Um, the Talented Kid, he has some violin cello as well as some cubing videos, so definitely go check him out if you're interested in that stuff. And Lil Shy has just started some Brawl Stars actually, and then she does cubing as well. So if you like any of these channels or just go check them out in general um give them some support i'll leave their links in the comment section below but anyway guys we'll get right into the unboxing video so i'm gonna teleport to santa barbara real quick okay guys we're in the room and i have a lot of cubes that i have not unboxed so that's right here it's so blended in what the heck all right um, these are my current cubes um which I can talk about maybe in a different video. Um, actually, you guys have already seen the unboxing for like all of them. This is the haul, as well as the Moyu backpack, which has a little bit of a zipper problem. Um, but yeah, let's go into the different products. Um, I'll do the Moyu bag last. All right, I'll take the camera from now on, and let's set up the tripod. Okay, so first off, guys, let's just start off with some basic things. We got this. Okay, wow, that fits perfectly in screen. I might even keep that in the background. This is the Space Minimap. I was gonna go with one of the newer uh, Minimaps that they just released, but I'm just gonna go with the Space one because I like how there's a cube right there. It's overall quite playful and I like that a lot. So we can unbox this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh my. That is so cool. So the space mat and all their other mini mats are really awesome material. Um, super duper nice. It looks really cool. It has speaker shop down here, which is epic. Um, yeah, I overall really like this design. You're not going to be damaging your tables. You can hear the sort of difference. Sorry, the camera's shaking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I almost... <laughs> doesn't come in too pricey. It comes in at $5. So it's not too expensive. And overall works really well. So... We're gonna go ahead and put this here and do our unboxing on this mat. Oh, by the way, if you actually go ahead and go visit Bakersfield, this is only available in Bakersfield. It's just a business card. Speed Cube Shop, the original puzzle retailer. You got the website, um, you got an email, a phone number, and the address. And then as you can see on the back of this card, it's like, it's like a shiny sort of material. With the SES sort of there with like a silver print. And then a uh, sort of, uh, you know, chromatic color <laughs> there for the, uh, I guess, par part of the cube. I don't know. But that is super cool. Put that in the top right corner. And then the Speaker Shop sticker, which they have on all the bags, actually. So this is the bag they gave us. It's just a turquoise bag, and they just they stuck the sticker on there, um, which is awesome as well. But let's go ahead and actually get into the stuff that we got. So first up... Um, okay, yes, well, I want to do this first. This is the Moyu Waylong WRM 2020 edition. Um, as you can see, it comes in stickerless and stickered. Um, apparently, this is just a lighter version of the RS3M. And that is something that I really want to have. Because the RS3M is actually my current main. I know I said in the last video, the RS3M um, review video, that um, it wasn't my current main, and I like the GAN better, but I just, I've gotten really used to this, and honestly, it's just a really, really good puzzle. So let's see how this sort of compares. Right, first of all, the packaging looks really, really nice. Um, it's kind of like a GAN package. Oh, this thing is really hard to get into. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, there we go. This is the Waylong WRM 2020. Really nice sort of like blue tint. Well, that's really nice. All right, let's crack into it. Oh, you got the world record there. I don't know what cube it was set on, but it was set on, I think, a MoU cube. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, actually, I have no clue, but <laughs> that's the world record um, set by Yu Du, which is sponsored by MoU. So I guess it's okay if they put it on there. Anyway, here's what you get as accessories, which you get from the previous Waylong as well. Here's the cube itself. We'll go ahead and put the box to the side. And here's the cube itself in sort of this cube stand case thing. 
um, which I won't go into this video. Maybe I'll go into when it, we go into the, um, what do you call it, the full review. Here's the accessories box, which looks absolutely insane. This is ridiculous. What the heck? Oh my goodness. We'll briefly take a look at this, maybe. Wow, look at that. So you got a lot of things in here. These are stiffer springs, I believe, and they all come with an extra, um, I guess, and a dual adjustment piece. You got the screwdriver, which it has its special hole. This is actually a hole for lube, I believe. Pretty sure you put lube in there. I don't have a 10cc um, lube bottle with me, but this is a spare core, which they put in here. These are tension adjustment tools, which you use to get even tensions, which I don't really know how to use. Um, I'm, what is this? I'm not sure what that is. This is the actual tensioning tool for the dual adjustment system, which is not bad. I like that. I didn't bring my one for the RS3M, so I'm going to put that to the side. And extra magnets as well. So that's really nice as well. So let's go ahead and just get into the cube itself for some first impressions because that's the main game. All right, take off that. Here's the cube. Um, the thing about this cube as well compared to the RS3M is it is a bit smaller, which I think I'm going to like. So let's just crack it right into it. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, let's compare a little bit. Um, yeah, a tad bit smaller. I, uh, it's either 55 and a half or 55, which is perfect size for me. Let's get into some first turns. Oh. Oh, wow, that's, that is really, really fast. Wow, it's really light too. Whoa, guys. I, okay, first of all, I love the magnet strength. Wow, it's like a s little bit of a sandy feel. Um, oh my gosh, it's like, it, but it is too fast because I, I want a more controllable feel, which is why I bought some lube, which we'll see in a second. But um, the tensions honestly seem okay. Let's try corner cutting, 45. Ooh, okay, a bit snappy, especially when you get over here. You might, actually you might need to tighten this. So it looks like a little bit before line to line is where this corner cutting max out. Um, let's try the RS3M. So about the same, I believe. Maybe a tiny bit better. But I did tension it a little bit, so. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. Um, anyway, wow, I really like this. I like this size um, for doing like the uh, U-moves with the left hand. That's really nice as well. Um, I'm gonna obviously try this a little bit and uh, get back to you guys with the full review in a bit probably even today But obviously it's a different video. Let's take off the center cap really quick Okay, there you go. Whoa, this is a Look at the center cap. That's an intense center cap. Look at that. Wow Okay, so the same just dual adjustment system um, Nothing too much Primary internals, I believe. Yes. So a little bit more primary internals. The shades should be exactly the same. But overall, it's just a light version of the um, RS3M, and I love that. This video is getting way too long though, so I gotta move on. <laughs> we might even do part one and part two of this video. So we'll go ahead and see. Anyway, so this won't take long. This is actually the same cube. This was my main. You know, this, this might be my main now, the Moe Wearer and Way Long WRM 2020 which I need to break in and loop, but um, the RS3M was my previous main, and I did get another one because um, I wanted to do a spring noise video because I know this cube does have some spring noise, so hopefully this one does come with spring noise so I can make a video on it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay, let's get into another puzzle. Let's um, We have another 3x3, but let's get into a different puzzle. This is the X-Man Bell Pyraminx V2 from Chi. Um, I don't purchase a lot of Chi'i puzzles, um, and I only have one Pyraminx right now, um, and I don't really practice it at all, but I wanted to sort of motivate myself to practice it. Um, so I got the V2, which has adjustable magnets and a sick tensioning tool. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open. That's a pretty simple box. But as you can see, we've got the tensioning tool right here, which looks so cool. Wow, look at this guy. Hold on. Oh. I guess that's what I'm Hold on. Okay, let's put that to the ground. 
So we take a look at this. Oh, is that lube on it? I think there's a bit of lube on it. And I think you just uh, put magnet. It's like held by a magnet. So this is a plastic Phillips. And then if you take off the back cap, look at this, guys. You get a metal Phillips head. You get whatever the heck this dolphin tail, whale tail thing is. Oh, sorry, the camera. And then you get a flat head right here. There we go. So um, honestly, a lot of options. This is a super versatile um, tensioning tool. So if you want a good pair of minks, you can definitely probably pick up this one. Obviously, I need to try it first, but the tensioning tool is extremely sick. So let's go ahead and get the paraminks. I got some pamphlets down there, which I won't look at in this video. All right, here's the paraminks. Is it is it matte? It's not. It's not really a matte finish. Oh goodness, there is lube on it. Let me clean that off with my shirt. <laughs> okay guys, so I cleaned it off. Let's go ahead and do some first turns. Sorry, my mom's making some noise in the background. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, it's very, I don't know if it's unstable because I don't play with pyraminks. Oh goodness, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, let's take out the tips. Ooh. Okay, so there is some spring noise, which I think you have to pop off these somehow. So the pyraminks, I'm gonna need to do a lot of experimentation with. Um, and I think I tighten it maybe, or maybe just strengthen the magnets, as you can see. Um, but this is first impressions. It turns really smoothly, I can tell you that. It's also quite light um, compared to some other pyraminxes I've tried. And there is some spring noise, so I'm basically just gonna play around with this a lot because I don't really know what I think about it yet because I'm no pyraminx expert. All right, guys, let's go. Um, we got one more puzzle um, from the things I was I bought myself. <laughs> um, this is the Diane Guhong V3. Um, either I'm just gonna use it for two-handed or just maybe try one-handed. I can one-hand solve, but I'm no expert on it. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. Obviously, Diane cubes are extremely heavy with lube, so there's no pamphlets at all in the Diane Guhong. All right, here's the puzzle itself. Um, we can see there's some lube. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some paper towels and something um, to lube it, but it is 54 millimeters, which is tiny, but this seems super interesting. Oh yeah. Oh yes, okay. All right, there is, yes, a crap ton of lube, holy. Um, was that there before? My OCD is gonna kill me. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me let me get a paper towel. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, first turns, as you saw just now. Well, okay, so the magnet strength I love because um, oh, I suck at one hand. I'm sorry, guys. This is so cringe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so cringe, guys. I'm so sorry. Please forgive my one-handed skills. Oh goodness. Okay. But I might practice one-handed. Whoa, this is loose. Whoa, Diane has like a, like a squiggly pattern or something. Oh, wait, what? This feels really good. I like this, but it's so loose. Look at that, it's like popping out. <laughs> I don't know if I can use this for two-handed. I might be able to actually. I don't know, I like this thing though. This thing is, feels really, really nice. And I love the magnet strength, which is a light magnets. Um, so definitely I'm gonna play around with this and probably make a review on it. So yes, although it does have a lot of lube on it, which I didn't like, but you know, that will come off eventually. And then now we have some lubricants and stuff that we bought. So here is Speed Lube Weight 3, because my weight one was getting a little fast for me. Um, we also got five Speaky Shop cube stands, um, 3 by 3 stickers, which I will apply on the new Wayland WRM 2020, a bit later probably. I'll just keep the normal sticker on because I might get it confused. Um, Nebula and Galaxy in their 3cc. Galaxy is a bit faster than Nebula, so we'll go ahead and experiment with these two. Um, yes, so yeah. That's the unboxing of the stuff that I planned to purchase. 
I know that sounds weird, um, but let me go ahead and show you guys some other stuff that we got. So we got this. This is a Ling Ao clock, but as you can see, there's a huge crack right here. But the reason why we got this is because Cameron Brown was so kind to actually give us this. He's just, he, I'm telling you guys, Cameron Brown is like the most epic person ever. And he's just so kind to give us this. Um, they can't actually sell it because it has a crack in it. So, um, but I'm so grateful. I've never had a clock. So I just want to take a look at this. Let's just do some quick turns and stuff. Oh, there's a clock tutorial, which I probably won't use. Anyway, here's the <coughs> clock. Basically, you turn the clock by... Whoa, what the... That's so trippy. Oh my goodness. That Does it need to be lubed or something, or is it usually turned like this? What the... Oh my goodness. Okay. So, obviously, as you can see, I'm no clock expert at all. These pins... Um, I don't even know what they do. What is that? Whoa, what? Wait. Uh. Whoa, it only... Whoa, it's... What the... Okay, so I, I kind of mixed it up because this is not pointing... Yeah, I, you know, I don't, I don't know how to solve clock. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna put this aside for now. I don't know... I haven't felt a clock before, so there's no way I can do a review on this. But yeah, it's so grateful that Cameron gave this to us because it's definitely something I can learn. And then, before we get to the backpack, look at this, guys. It's a speed cube shop cube bag. So you just take any cube and you just put it inside. Oh, goodness. Okay. It's, it's a super nice velvety material as well. So you just put it inside and then you just draw it up. Obviously you can't see what he wrote there, but he just said thank you so much for visiting and uh, you know, I'm so grateful that he gave us this. And I believe that's his signature or speaker shop signature or something like that. But yeah, thank you so much um, for giving us this. This is incredible. I love this bag. <laughs> this is forever on my shelf. <laughs> All right, and then the final thing is the backpack which I'm gonna film separately later because it definitely does not fit in frame. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, probably film that and then play around with the Wei Long WRM2020 and give you some, a couple more thoughts maybe. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon.